Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. All right, ketchup. First, it's hot. Ketchup type of vlog today. Uh, recovering from the road trip to Chicago. I slept 10 hours last night, and I actually fell asleep. Um, editing the vlog last night at about, a, from like 11 to midnight, I just passed out. And I woke up and I was like, is the vlog done? Is it uploaded? It was crazy. I've never actually fell asleep in the middle of editing, but we got it done. And so I'm catching up, uh, packing for the next trip, which happens tomorrow. And yes, opening up, this is one pair of shoes that arrived today, uh, and the next round of trail running shoes to test for all of you. I think it's three pairs, I do believe, up in the mountains, here in the Rockies. What else is going on? I was going to tell you uh, one other update. Um, I don't know. Bottom line, I just love you. And trying to eat healthy. Uh, bought some salads yesterday. It's like, but once you get to a certain volume of running, like you just got to eat, eat, eat. But I want to eat healthy. You know what I mean? Just good stuff. So we got the salad action going on today. A little salad kit for one. I usually just like to make salads, but frankly, just don't have the time to like cut everything, wash everything. So the next best option, I guess, is to buy these prepackaged salads. All right, here we go. Oh man. Butter my bread, butter my bread. There it is, there it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh. <coughs> man. Oh, <clears throat> that was delicious. Okay, now I got time to organize the uh, the shoes that arrived yesterday, thanks to your generosity. All of these right here. Uh-huh. So I'm going to take those out to the studio before opening up any other boxes. One of the best purchases I've made all summer is this shoe rack off of Craigslist for $10. Oh man, that's saving my life right now when all these shoes are arriving and you just, you never want to be overwhelmed in my humble opinion, whether, whether it's in life, training, uh, work, like overwhelming, like there's, there's no reason to live like that. And so this is a little overwhelming. You can't even, I don't know if you can see all the boxes down here. Um, so I don't want to be overwhelmed. You just got to stick organization. You know the drill, how much I love organization. So I'm taking all these shoes and putting them on this rack that, uh, I guess I picked up for $10, not a bad price. Okay. There's the Hoka's and probably the winner, <clears throat> probably the winner, winner chicken dinner was, <clears throat> hold on. Where is it? Here we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner from the last shoe haul has to be the Nike Zoom Fly 3s. A brand new shoe, $160. Look at that baby. Oh, it looks so good. So someone's going to be very happy that wins that shoe at the giveaway. So let me just find a, find a home for it here on the rack. Last but not least, the Carbon Rockets. Okay, somebody was asking on Strava, yesterday the size of the carbon rockets nine and a half men's but i'm actually going to say it right now these are going to go to a lady because they're narrow enough and they're actually labeling them inside the shoe at ten and a, ten and a half us women's so we're going to give the carbon rockets to a lady because we get so many guy shoes i want to make sure the ladies are taken care of out there as well so ten and a half women's you got to show up because these might end up being yours oh i think these are these $180? I think brand new, they're $180 from Hoka. Feeling better. That feels good. Okay, nice and organized out there. And yes, we've got some shoes to open up for all of you. Uh, many shoes that you have mentioned to me as far as trail running shoes that I should be testing. Remember the Mafate 2s from Hoka arrived yesterday. Well, these are some more. And again, just putting them through the paces for all of you. And so tomorrow, I'm, I'll, I'll explain in full what I'm doing, but I am going to the mountains. So, okay, let's open up this first pair here. Um, a company out of the UK. Uh, it's not Wales, but I think it's Wales. It's not, no, it's not Wales. It's like North, 
West England. You know the company. There it is. The one and only Innovate. Oh, yeah. Innovate G Series. There's the box there. Okay. And these are the Terra Ultra G260s. Oh, look at that colorway. So this is being uh, advertised and floated around as an ultra running shoe from Innovate. Look at that colorway. Oh my god, that bright green brings joy to the heart. All right. And moving on to that next trail shoe from Saucony. Can you believe it? That's right, the Saucony Mad River TR. Oh my, again, nailing the colorway, Saucony. Green of 2019, 2019 is the year of green for uh, a lot of companies out there. So this is the Saucony Mad River TR. I'll, t I'll talk more about the outsole on this uh, Saucony trail running shoe very soon. Let's just say they, they, they are encouraging you to do something very, very unique to this outsole. So that is a shoe designed for trails, but also designed for running through lots of water. Okay, so that'll be coming on the trip. So there's that, the Saucony. And then let's go, so there's that one. Uh, let's go with this guy right here. You ready for it? Okay, the next trail running shoe to come on the trip. Boom, Solomon in the house, that's right. The Solomon XA Alpine Pro. Oh, orange. Oh my. So the Solomon XA Alpine Pro, a, a shoe that I have no experience with in the past, no past iterations. A lot of people, uh, especially in Europe, have talked to me about this shoe. So this is the Solomon XA Alpine Pro. Feels just like a Solomon. Feels like it's built to go to to go through a war. So like it just feels so, so well constructed actually know if this is a trail shoe. I think it is, but it might not be. But let's open it up for you guys anyway. Let's, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I, all right, so because of my injury, I was unable to try out this shoe, even though it's been available for, I think, at least six weeks now. So you know what it is. Oh, so not a trail shoe, a road shoe, the Hoka. Carbon X, oh, so many of you have told me I need to try this shoe. So it's finally in the rotation. Uh, another carbon fiber plate to enter the fray in 2019 for carbon fiber running shoes. Oh yeah, looking smooth. You can see that carbon fiber plate through the midsole, uh, through the outsole into the midsole, pretty neat there. And I must say, I like this colorway the best out of all the options. They're good old red, white, and blue. Uh, so there you go. All right, so now that the shoes are unpacked and ready to rock and roll, it's time to pack for this adventure and then I will tell you what I'm up to here in a minute. Okay, let's go. Okay, everyone, it's getting closer. The Pikes Peak Ascent is getting closer. We're a month away. So it's time to start uh, going a little faster. There's no other way to say it. It's time to start going faster up in the mountains. Therefore, tomorrow morning, I'm going back up the peak and I'm not going to take a vest. And the reason I've been running in the vest quite a bit on the mountains is to carry the drone, carry the gimbal, but it's time to streamline. I still will bring the, the GoPro with me, but instead of taking the vest, it's gonna slip into this Nathan handheld. It's gonna go right into this pocket here. You see that? Just slide right in there, along with uh, two spring energies, right? There you go. So those, these three items will be inside the pocket, and then I'll fill this up with water, and we're gonna go rock and roll, baby. It's time, like I said, it's time to start going. And I'm even starting to figure out, okay, what socks do I want to pair with the Solomon S-Lab Sense 7 SGs? Now, I'm not gonna wear the Sense 7s tomorrow. I'm saving these. I will run in them once before race day, probably at Mount Falcon for three miles, just to make sure we're good, but I, I wanna save them. I wanna preserve them for race day. Uh, so I instead, I will take out this Sense sixes last year's iteration of that lineup the sense six sg along with these uh, fancy uh, high-tech 
Solomon socks that supposedly are supposed to help uh, bring energy uh, to your body somehow with little crystals inside the sock. So anyway, it's time to start moving a little faster. Couldn't be more excited. Um, so here's all the gear. It's so, so nice to just simplify and go a little faster. Like, I love carrying the gear. I love, I don't mind, but it's like, let's rock and roll. Like, let's go. Let's let the wind hit the hair. You know what I mean? So here it all is. I'll lay it out for you right now. All right, there we go. Just wrapping up the packing, getting everything in the car, loaded up. And yes, keyword is going to be rest. Why? Because I'm going to the mountains, to the Rocky Mountains, to my hometown, Buena Vista, Colorado. I'm going to be camping up there. Uh, you're probably not going to be, if you're in the area, let me know, but you're probably not going to be able to find me because I'm going to a remote place to rest and just disconnect, get away, and yes, of course, go run. I'm treating this a little bit like a training camp. You know how the NFL teams are starting to kick up their training camps, or maybe you're in cross country at your high school and you're, you just went off to a camp for a week. Well, I am getting away. I'm just getting away, uh, gonna disconnect, and True Love and I, we, we're just big believers in staycations, uh, date nights, as you know. We go on a date night every Tuesday night, and, uh, and spa days. So about once or twice a year, True Love likes to get to a spa day, just a nice day away at a nice hotel and relax. Well, my main, my main spa day is getting to the mountains and running as much as I possibly can. So that is what I'm up to. That's why I'm packing all these uh, trail running shoes to test out for all of you. And frankly, to use this as a chance to say, okay, where is my fitness in getting ready for the Pikes Peak Ascent, which as I already mentioned is about a month away. So I'm gonna go take a man spa day, a couple days up in the mountain, mountains uh, running, camping, and just having a good time seeking beauty, you know what I mean? And that question of the day, which I know I've asked before, I know I've asked it before, but how do you rest best? Like maybe it's, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna say anything else. Question of the day, how do you rest best? For me, it's just getting to the mountains and just going running, like that's it. I don't need to, you know, I don't need to go do much else except for go get away and run. So thanks for being here. I know that was a little bit of a catch up vlog. Nothing crazy exciting, but this is life here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm excited to continue to share it with all of you. All right. Does that sound good? Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. And quick addendum, yesterday I said August 31st. No, July 31st is the next running shoe giveaway. July 31st, it's a Wednesday, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Just wanna clear that up a little bit. All right, see you tomorrow.